Hey everyone, it's Friday the 9th of September and it's uh, 25 past 9 in the evening. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say may Her Majesty the Queen, Elizabeth II, rest in peace. And she uh, sadly passed away yesterday, which was the 8th. So, uh, yeah, end of an era. 70 plus years as a queen. Now we've got King Charles. Hmm. feel quite sad actually about it. I didn't think I would. Anyway, may she rest in peace. Right, for the video. Well first, on the end of this I'm going to put on a video clip of the two trikes that I bought. So if you want to see them and a bit more, you know, up close with them and whatnot, and, or in detail, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Brain's not functioning tonight. I don't think my brain functions most of the time, to be honest. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be on the end of the video. But in this one, we are going to fit a cooler into this. Because I've actually bought one. Got it on Amazon. I can't remember how much for. It is. I'll just get the box. Cooler Master. Hyper H412R. And I have gone ahead and I've got it out of the box and I've uh, attached the fixings for Intel. Um, the listing on Amazon did say it was for, a, well it listed off a whole load of um, sockets it would fit, but this one, even in the manual, it does say it'll fit a 1366. So, that's today's job. I've also got some... Um, cable ties because I might do a bit of cable management while I'm in here um, and also I've got more speakers in fact I've got another pair of speakers down in the shed yes a week or so ago I was over at mum's and we were just sorting out a load of stuff in the um, spare bedroom what was my little brother's bedroom but now he's moved out it's now the spare room because uh, mum and my stepdad bought some new wardrobes my god were they a chore to bloody put together and fit. Anyway, um, <laughs> we found these in the bottom of the wardrobe. So I thought, you know what, they might actually go better with my um, steeple tone radio, which I've actually got set up here in the kitchen. Um, I might keep the Panasonics on them, I don't know yet. I might use the Panasonics with a different system. So I have got some speakers in the bedroom that I'm going to be putting up on Marketplace for free. No longer need them. Um, there's another bigger pair down in the shed that I that I actually found down the side of the wardrobe. No one had any idea they were actually there. So um, yeah, right. I've got to hope <laughs> that cooler will fit this. So I don't even know they actually came with thermal paste. I've got a little bit in there. I've got another tiny little syringe of it here somewhere. I think I've got off my brother, so in theory this should <laughs> fit. And it does. But I've got to take the motherboard out to do it. <laughs> that bracket doesn't go over the bottom this part of the case. Oh, what a pain in the bottom. Well, it's got to be done and I know it works, so here we go. Dismantle the PC time. That's not a bad thing because I might be able to um, do some cable management a bit better. Right. Also, this evening, I did win an SSD for this on eBay. Um, I actually won it for £12.50. I'm surprised the bidding didn't actually go up. My max bid was 15 quid, but it was a 240 gig Western Digital um, Green. Because again, I just don't like using off-brand stuff. If it's a brand name I recognise, I'll use it. <laughs> Where's my clip? There it is. I couldn't find the clip for the um, power. Right, so that up there, that's front audio, Ooh, wish I could uh, 
be something on here I want to get working. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I've got two SATA cables here. One's for the um, external hard drive connector up there. One's for an external SATA connector. But, uh, yeah, they can just go there for now. That power can stay connected. And that's front USB. And that is the front panel. And that one is for the front fan. Right. <sighs> Here we go. And the tedious task of undoing umpteen screws. Even with these spotlights. I'm actually having trouble seeing the screws in here. There doesn't seem to be a lot of light. I need to pick some hard drives to go in here. I've got a terabyte hard drive, so I might actually throw that in here while I'm at it. It can actually go in that one. I might as well, because as soon as the SSD arrives, I'll be um, putting it in here and putting Windows 10 on it, only because I don't have Windows 11. I don't know how good Windows 11 is. Well, I've heard rumours that you need specific um, bits of software or something to run it. But, uh, we'll see. Windows 10 is still usable. It's still being updated and whatnot. So I'll just continue to use that and update as and when necessary. I have heard good things about Windows 11, though. I've not heard anything bad. I'm wondering why I actually put the motherboard in here, it was just to keep it safe anyway. Because it was just laying around in, uh, here in the kitchen. And uh, after um, my other i7 board failing, due to me being a complete idiot with it, should not have bought it back from mum's in a backpack without any anti-static bag or anything on it. That's probably what killed it. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> right, now, this should pop in here and sit flat. Get the holes to line up again. There we go. And then that's got to go there. And then, in theory, that just goes boink, and we're done. I've just remembered. I can't remember what side the fan goes on. Well, that's the airflow direction. Would suck. That would be better, wouldn't it? Because it sucked the cool air coming into the case from the front with the front fans and then exhaust it. Would that be the better way to do it? I think that's how it is on my other PC through there. You know what, I might actually uh, just bear with me two seconds, I'm just going to see um, what way around it is on the um, Ryzen build. I'm an idiot, I don't have one like that on the Ryzen do I? It's war cooled. But I can always just look at the box. <laughs> Yep, and that's the way around they've got it. So let's just have a look at the manual and just see if it shows um, how they fit it. Exactly the same way as I've got it there. So the fan actually, yeah, okay, so I would have been right then. I just want to double check this thing. Gee, that's the new one. So we're going to put a blob of this right in the middle of the processor. Nice pea-sized blob, and then, and then I've got to take the fan off because I can't get to the screws. Right. This all should it's got to go 
through there and we'll do the opposite corner just to stop it moving around. Could be a bit better because they do like to move around it seems but it's not the worst I've ever fitted to a motherboard I've had a lot worse but at least now I can actually run the system without uh, risking burning out the processor So, should I be worried that that just made a crack? Right, there's still enough in there for another dose of another motherboard, so that's what I'll keep that for. Right, let's clip our fan back on. Fun fact guys, this is the first time I have ever bought a brand new cooler. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've never ever bought a brand new cooler. I've always been, you know, what I've salvaged off of old machines and whatnot. Right, there we go. I'm just going to tuck that cable down there. Good to go. I was actually looking on eBay because I just searched LGA 1366 um, in the search bar. This exact motherboard came up and someone was asking 70 quid for it. I don't know if that's what it's worth. I don't know if you know they're in cloud cuckoo land asking that for it. I just thought Ooh, maybe it's actually worth a bit more than I thought it was. <laughs> I need a drink. That's not a good idea. <laughs> I could see that just spraying everywhere if I opened it up on here. You know what I've just realised? That the one terabyte hard drive I want to put in this is also a Western Digital Green. <laughs> it's over there. I'm sure I had another one terabyte somewhere unless I've stuck it in one of my other machines. Like my... Um, Dell, oh yeah, it might be in the Dell build actually. Sort of now questioning myself, why am I actually building this when that Dell sleeper machine is actually an Intel machine? <laughs> it's like, Burr, you've already got one. It's fun. Now, this one's got more upgradeability to it as well. That Dell hasn't, you know, because Dell. <laughs> Mind you, it was, you know, originally like an office PC, which I think is what Dell primarily build, isn't it? Or at least they used to. I know they do have a gaming range. Well, they used to. <laughs> Whack these screws in and start reconnecting everything and doing a bit of cable management. Now that top fan, which is also a Cooler Master. So you know what, I think I'm going to put a Cooler Master in the back here. I should have one in my box under the cupboard here. So uh, I will grab that, hopefully. I can't remember if I had a screw in that one or not. I think there was one missing. So I've done that one, I've done that one, have I done that top one? No. So we'll put one up here by the processor power connector. Like so. Uh, I've got one there, I've got one there. Oh. Maybe I did have a screw in every one because there's one more left and from what I can see, one more screw hole. Can't see any more at the top there. Here we go. That one for 
bolts have gone in, but for some reason it wouldn't tighten up. Right. Now I've got the arduous task of uh, plugging everything back in. Now that's front audio. It's very handy to have these days, so that gets connected. For some reason, even with them two spotlights, it's still dark in here, and I don't know why. Right, that's got to go around there. And I'm also going to plug in this one for the processor. Because these have got to go underneath the GPU. Which at some point I would like to have a better GPU in it, but that's all I've got at the minute. <laughs> I actually saw listed for sale on Facebook. Um, a couple of days ago, someone was trying to set it as a top of the range gaming machine, even though its processor was no better than this one and it had 8 gigabytes of RAM. The only thing it really had going for it was the um, um, the GPU, which I think was a it was a 10 something. I can't remember what it was now. But I thought, yeah, you're trying that's mid range at best, in my opinion. And I certainly don't think it was worth anywhere near 700 quid. Change that 7 for, I don't know, 4 or something. You know, this. This connector is an absolute pain in the ass because it won't stay together. I cannot get both halves to stay together. two slide together, is it that way? Is it that way? There we go. Don't you dare come apart. So I haven't got a lot of hand room in here. I've got that round right way here. There we go. Right. Uh, let's put the GPU in, shall we? Let's just put that one up there. Get that lined up. So what I want to do is get them two cables to go through that little gap there. It's what I usually do with cables. I have to go to the top of the board, but I have to, you know, come up from the bottom of the case. I always go under the GPU, just like that. And I'll put that in. remember what this is an Asus GPU and I can't remember where I got it from you know or how good it is but I, I believe it's the same as mine I believe it's got two gigs on it no nope, mine's actually got more than that I just remembered what mine was is right ha no bread in the background in this video today <laughs> <laughs> I moved it. All right. Uh, so we've got the front fan to plug in. Like so uh, front USBs when I can find those. Oh, what a donut! I've actually. Uh, Screwed the bloody cable underneath the motherboard. Hang on. Hopefully. Oh, that screw I said that had gone in but hadn't done anything isn't actually there anymore. Hopefully, I can just lift that enough to pull that cable out like that. There we go. Yeah, that screw has fallen out, but I don't know where. It's got flinged out somewhere. Never mind. All the other cables are in, that's all that matters. 
Now it is, apart from those two SART cables, which I think I'm going to bung in at the top. Someone's just messaged me on Facebook, that's what that bidding was in the background. That was my phone going bing. You have Facebook notification. Right, could be my brother actually. Very low helicopter. I really don't need cables this long, not for start. I'm going to connect them both because they're there and I can't be bothered to take all the top off. I don't even know what way up these have got to go. I'm going to assume that way up. I'm just going to plug them in the top there. Yeah, I just can't be bothered to take all of this off and disconnect the um, external SAR because I'm not going to use the external SAR but my other motherboard on the uh, main ring has got external SAR on the back I think and I've had motherboards in the past that had external SARs and I've never used them so right so I've still got Power to distribute. So I'm going to look think. Oh, they're both the same. Okay. They've both got two um, SAR power and a Molex, but I was just uh, thinking of my power supply up the top here. If I can just run that up there. Plugeth it in. Hopefully. Plug in. So that's another cable to try and do something with. I'm not usually that fussy with cable management, but when you can actually see inside the case, because this one's got a transparent panel, it then kind of matters to me. Oh, actually. This one might be better to use on that, simply because it's only got the one SATA connector, and if I put extra drives in there, I'm going to need the extra SATA connectors, aren't I? <laughs> so, cut that. That's the power for the top SATA connector, so you can connect hard drives in there, hot swap them. So. I swap these with the cable ease like so. I'll have to we'll do a bit of cable management in a bit. I might stand the case up for that. So we probably have to get to the other side anyway. Right, that's that power all in. So we'll have to try and sort of cable tie that and tidy it up up there somehow. Okay, so I've got this lot to plug in. I don't think I'll bother with the reset switch because I've never used one. In fact, I want to disconnect it on my um, daily driver in the lounge because it's actually on top of the case and I have hit it accidentally at least once <laughs> and reset the PC and I haven't got that fan in the right place but I think that'll be alright, it's just my OCD. Magnifying glass, where did you go? There. Right. Orange is power switch usually, isn't it? Yep. Power, where are you on this? Reset power, right there. So you've got to go. There. Um, next to that is likely... Oh, power LED. Oh, okay. 
MSG is next to the power switch, whatever that might be. Um, and box two, let's put the reset switch on it here, isn't it? I think that goes below. Yep. I think coloured wire is positive. Yep, so that's power LED. if both of those pins are actually negative or if it does actually matter which one I put it on. Find out if it works or not, won't we? Right, I'll put it on like that because I don't think it's going to matter. And this is the hard drive LED. There we go. I think, at least for now, that is all the cables connected. I've got to start to run from the CD drive down. Whee! So, I'm actually assuming then. Yeah, so the hard drive, so the connections for the hard drive are at the back. Okay. So, some spilt all over this. I don't want to use a wet sponge or anything on it to get rid of it. So I'm just going to see if I can rub it off as best I can. Right, let's get these old uh, brackets off as it's not required. Keep the screws though. Of, um, decent 500 gig drives in that cupboard I could chuck in here as well. And it had the same, uh, actually almost the same amount of storage as my other one. Alright, so that goes in here. too tight it seems. It just seems you're meant to put the screws in a bit loose and then it just sort of slides into place. So I've sort of done it the wrong way round but it's worked. That's the main thing. For an owl, for the like so. so that would give me power for two drives at least. And then I've got another one here, which has got power on for another couple of drives. Just so I can see what I'm doing at the moment. Let's just get rid of that cable tie. There we go. This is kind of annoying, so let me get these tidied up a bit first, I think. I can't do this without pulling the wires off the 
board. So it might be a, a bit difficult to get them back on once I've done this. Tidy little bundle that's but I didn't have anything to uh, tie it to. Right, over here I should have my pot of snack cables as well. See what I've got to uh, pick from in that lot. Right. I'm going to fire it up because I want to make sure the fan on the cooler and whatnot works fine. I think I've just discovered that my wire cutters that I've got in here aren't very sharp. Let's just put one around it. And I'd actually prefer I could pull so why is that one so long? It doesn't need to be that long. find an adapter I think for this uh, top phone that won't reach the connector on the motherboard. Alright, just trying to tap that back in there. Where is it? That's the one I want. Will that that one? It will. Good. Long SAR cable is actually tucked up under here out of the way, so that's alright. It's done that all on its own. So we've got this next. Where can I run that? And that bundle as well. Will I be able to get one around that? Let's just try it. Zip tires are cheap as chips. Well, unless they go up with everything else. Nick the insulation on a bit of wire there. Oops. There's no bare wire showing though, so that's alright. Let's get these tails off. There we go. actually all right. There's a lot of these wires are going to be hidden behind here anyway, aren't they? So, I'm just going to take that down. Another cable tie somewhere down the bottom here. So, right. 
pity there weren't like a little tab or something that I could, uh, you know, tie that to. Oh, actually. Like the one right there. If I've got a tie, that will reach. Actually, I'm staying in there anyway. Okay, so. I'm going to put the power in for that one. And like I said, I'm just going to have a look in my cupboard behind you guys and see if I've got any more 500 gig drives. Um, well, I have. I've got Seagate ones. Oh, that's not 500. But I don't want to put the bloody Seagate in this. I've got a Western Digital Blue. Uh, what size is it though? Two hundred and sixty gig. Is it Hitachi? That's a five hundred gig, I believe. Capacity five hundred gig, so I'll put that one in. I'm not sure about the Western Digital Blue yet. Ideally, I'd like. Um, well, I've got a 40 gig there. Oh, that's an IDE anyway. Ain't no good, is it? Um, what have I got in my pile? Seagate. 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 <laughs> I think that's what I've actually got. Seagate. 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 And Seagate. What type of Seagates have I actually got? That's Pipeline. Ah, that's a Barracuda. But that's 160 gig. That's a video. That's another Barracuda at 160 gig. Uh, what are these ones? Pipeline. Pipeline. Oh, 40 gig. Um, not really. What I'd be after. Yes, I've got one. Sure what I'm going to do with that one yet? I'm just a little blue 260 gig. I've actually got another couple of hard drives up there, but I know one of them is actually faulty. I know for a fact one of them is faulty. All right. So what I'll do first, I'll put the Hitachi one in. Ran the wrong bloody way again. I think I will put four in. I wasn't going to, but I don't feel that's very secure in this. Ooh. OK, 
Okay, that one's not long enough. This is actually a Cooler Master case as well. Get in there, you pain in the ass. Let's just stick this through the hole as well. Feeling it's a screw head. Um, I'm going to need like flat headed screws, aren't I? Not these. Nope. Right, that one. I'll try those. Yeah, these ones are um, they're sticking out too far. Just a smidge though. That's the ridiculous thing, literally just a smidge, because the heads are too big, or too deep. I'm going to need some more of them, aren't I? As many of them as I can find, then. There's another one. That one might. Silver one as well, there's a couple of silver ones. Good, the more the merrier. Right, here we go then. Worried that the thread wouldn't be the right size. Oh. The head's too small. <laughs> Far too small. Know what it could do. So save on the screws. Let's put a screw in the middle. Screw doesn't want to fit in the middle. That 
one does. So let's try it the other side and just see how that works and feels. That might be the better way to do it. That feels alright. Should. There we go. This one has actually got um, like little studs already fitted. So I've just got to line it all up and had those and they were useless on that as well. Utterly bloody useless. It's just quick to do that. Let's just see if those two are going to play nicely. This one's got the same. Should just be go to should be there. Well, I'm spitting words, eh? We should be good to put all the wires in and cabals in. Okay. Sounds like something just fell out the other side. Well, right. Okay. So that one's the other side connector. One. 
two. So now I need a whole bunch of starter cables. Don't I? I need one, I need five. Alright. What have we got lurking in here then? Just realised I've done all that. I need to put an SSD in it, don't I? Well, that's okay. I'll put the SSD in at the bottom. And I think for that one, so I can actually mark what it is, I'm going to use a black one. That way, when I look in, I will know that the black SAR cable is the one with the SSD connected to it. That way, if I do get any problems in the future, I can diagnose it quite easily. And I'll be like, yep, I know which one's the SSD, I know which one's the boot drive to disconnect. There we go, we're connected. So what I'm going to do with that end is just tuck it in there for now. Um, I suppose I could use these for the storage drives, couldn't I? Might be better off with these angled ones to go on the hard drive. And then I'm going to poke up through there. And again, the next one up, poke that through. Just like a lava, a lava rinse repeat sort of thing now. The only reason I want the angled ones in here because I think that would be better for the um, for when the side panel goes on. Let's just tuck that in there out of the way. I'm not too fussed about this bit because you can't see that much of it. Not really, there's no glass panel. Whoops, that was close. I know you cut straight through that fan cable. I do not want to do that. Angled one, yep. And yes, they all should be long enough. No, that one. That one. That one's miles too short. Some of these came out of old Dell machines, that's why they're so short. Another thing I could have done is just used a different colour cable on each. I don't think I've got a different colour cable with um, the connectors on. I want. I've got a nice blue one. And you know what? We'll put the nice blue one at the top. That way, I know that the nice blue one. Is the one terabyte jobby? Actually, have I got a short one? Because that is ridiculously long for this. What else have I got in here? I've got this. That one's a shortish one. Um, Just figuring out where to um, plug some cables in, that's so all. Just figuring out if this one's going to be. Uh... Yep, yeah. right. So that one, I'm actually going to use on that one. So that will be the first 500 gig one. So that will be the Hitachi. in the face with another one. Okay. Right. Yeah, that one is ridiculously long. That might have uh, been taken from like a server machine or something. And I've got this black one. It's got a different texture to the one I've just used. That's like 
looks like it's got two wires when it isn't. Um, so I think I'm going to use this one for the next one. Possibly. Unless I've got different. I've got red galore. Mind you, I haven't said that I'm use, wanting to use the angled ones, but I think, in all honesty, I had a bloody grey one here a minute ago. Where's that gone? Am I going colourblind? Didn't use a grey one, did I? miles line up. Alright, so as that is the terabyte, I'm going to plug it into that one. So blue is the terabyte. That blacky grey coloured one is for the uh, thing of a bobble one. And there's the grey one I was looking for. It's a wee bit on the long side though. Mm. Um. Alright, we'll go for the grey one. I'm also put on the long side, but. Start to think that I should have uh, why wouldn't that bloody plug in? Thank you. It wouldn't bloody plug in because I hadn't sworn at it apparently. Right. So that can go through there. Okay, up that way. Under the power cables. And in to the motherboard. Like that. So now I just want one more. Should I go for a red one? No, I just took a red one off, but never mind. We'll put a red one back on, shall we? There we go. slightly longer I'm going to go the same um, path with this one. Not through there. Blimey. I designed the motherboard like this because it's just so annoying trying to get bloody um, SAT cables plugged in. Right. This is the SSD and the main storage drive, which would probably be the gaming drive if I ever use this for gaming, is in the white SAR connectors. I don't know what the difference is. I'm guessing speed. Can we see the difference? Yep, it's SAR 3, 6 gig a second. I don't know what the blue one is because I've covered it up. <laughs> oh, it's SAR 2. So yeah, I have got those on the faster one then. Oh, I need one more, don't I? One more for the C 
CD-ROM drive. That one's actually broken. Not curly whirly one. Want something different. Let's use this one. It's already uh, sort of cable managed. So let's get it in the board end first. And then plug that one in up here. And that is every SATA cable connected now. Apart from, when we get it, the um, thingy drive. Oh, I just realised something. I didn't leave a SATA spare for, um, SATA power connector spare for the SSD. But that doesn't matter. But I can always connect on. Um, an adapter, as I do have one. What I am going to do is just put a zip tie around these buggers to keep them together. And keep them out the way a bit better as well. Because somehow, somehow I've got to get a side panel back on that. See if I can do that now, actually. Wrong cover. Really? The space on this side panel look like a fan. And that fan would sit right underneath the um, where the processor is. You could potentially blow cold air in. Thumb screws back in here, that'll hold this one on. We'll connect it up, turn it on, and we'll put these uh, SART cables out the way. And we'll see if it's going to do anything. Can you tell I've taken apart a lot of computers over the years? It's where all this came from. I do find when I'm building computers like this, I do use them quite a lot. That was on my finger. Note to self, don't drop things on your finger, or your toes for that matter. I've actually got a bit of a sore big toe because I dropped a chest of drawers on it earlier. I've got two power cables here, but I can't find the end of one. Oh, here it is. Let's put these screws away as well. Otherwise I can see me knocking these everywhere. Right, plug that in. Uh, put the monitor cable in. And hopefully on because the um, it's like a reset button thing on the back there that's lit up. Oh it's spun. It's it's doing something. It's working! <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh I know what I haven't done. Um, there we go. Do that right now. I don't think that cable is actually going to reach down the bottom here either. It's just, the um, connector for it is right there. Have to take the GPU out and run the cable through, that's all. Yeah, and then it's just the uh, top fan to do as well. Is 
verifying DMI pool data. You know, after all these years, I still don't actually know what that means. Is working. So, I've just got to wait for my SSD to arrive in the mail next week. He has got some 120 gig um, Western Digital Greens as well. I was toying with the idea of going for him. He's got a start and bid of five pounds for him. I've got a feeling they will get bid on, but. I was just thinking that might be handy just to have a couple of spares if I can get them. I mean, I could plug it in like that. Can I get it, my hand in there without getting it caught on the bloody um, GPU fan? <laughs> You know they're going to do it, why does it make you jump every time? It doesn't even hurt. Yep, yeah, that one's all plugged in, it's all spinning very fast though. That'll do, it's up there. That's down there, so I just need something for that one, don't I? That's where this box comes in. So I've got a splitter there, I don't really need a double one, I need a single. Splitter. That's handy, but that does only work on USB 3. So you can plug that into a USB 3 and then plug a hard drive onto the end of that. But like I said, it only works with USB 3. What is that? That. It's an adapter for the GPU. That ain't no good. That ain't no good. I don't know if anyone's seen one of them before. 24 pin to 20 pin. This is why I hate Molex, but that wire's come out of there. I bet if I try and push something in there, it'll come out again. I'm trying to find something A for that fan, and B. get something out for um, when I get the SSD so it's just out and ready. That's another splitter. I suppose I could extend it. <laughs> That's one option. Convert that one Molex to solder, that's all. Oh, another one of them um, 24 to 20 pin adapters. That's a Molex splitter, I don't want that either. Don't know what that's for. Absolutely no idea. That's for something I've got through there in the drawer. Uh, ah, that's what I want. Then I can plug this into here. And then I'll find a Molex, hopefully. Yes. 
So still need a little bit of cable management in here, but it's not too bad. Just tuck that in there out of the way, so. Well, that top one's bringing air in. Is that front one working? Don't know if that front one is actually working. Yes. What do I do with that? That's okay. Good, 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 good. Chuck all of this back in here. It's actually a miracle. I'm clearing up after myself. That back over here. Oh yeah, that's the splitter that I don't need. Oh yeah, that's a natural SATA to turn one into two. All sorts of little adapters in that box. Hmm, do I leave that top one as it is and then perhaps put another exhaust fan on here or another two? Or do I turn it around? Mind you, I wouldn't mind um, getting some illuminated fans, and I think that one is meant to be lit up, but it isn't. In fact, I think it did. <laughs> Used to light up, and currently it's not. Um, I don't need them right this minute, so they can wait for a bit. But yeah, I've got options to put a couple of fans on there. I've got another option for another fan in there. Excuse me, I might need a fan in here. Right. Might need that foam for the battery compartment on the, um, on the battery box on the uh, blue tray. Right, there we go. So the next stage will be fitting an SSD when it arrives and installing Windows. Sweet. Right, that is the end of the video. So, thanks a lot for watching everyone, if you actually made it this far, don't blame me if you didn't. Uh, oh, just turning my tripod handle the wrong way. And as always, I'll leave a link to the Discord server in the description down below, so feel free to join it and come on over and have a chat. And uh, let me just adjust the camera so it's not just a couple of eyes that are on screen. Um, yeah. Oh, and don't forget, there will be a clip of the uh, two trucks in the end of this video, so stay tuned for those. But, again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!